Till now we have seen what are static and dynamic systems, what are causal and non-causal systems, what are time invariant and time variant systems, what are linear and non-linear systems, and the fifth one, invertible and non-invertible systems. Now we will discuss the next classification, which is also the last classification of this chapter, stable and unstable systems. And once we are done with stable and unstable systems, we will start our next chapter, which is LTI systems. So to understand stable and unstable systems, we must know what is BIBO criteria. BIBO criteria means bounded input, bounded output criteria. BIBO, B I B O is an abbreviation for bounded input, bounded output. And according to this criteria, for a stable system, the output should be bounded for bounded input at each and every instant of time. So this is the BIBO criteria and according to this criteria, if you are providing a bounded input to your system and your system is generating the bounded output, it is giving us the bounded output, then the system is stable system. So you can also see the definition of a stable system in this criteria. Stable systems are those systems in which if you provide the bounded input, the output will also be bounded. So the word bounded is very important. We are required to understand what do we mean by bounded first. Bounded means some restriction or confining something in a particular range. So what actually we are limiting here? We are limiting the amplitude of the signal. From minus infinity to infinity, the amplitude of the signal should not reach to infinity at any instant of time. So by bounded input, we mean a signal which is acting as the input to our system and from minus infinity to infinity the amplitude of the signal is finite and the same thing goes for the bounded output from minus infinity to infinity the amplitude of the output signal is finite so let's read the definition or the criteria once more for a stable system, the output should be bounded for bounded input at each and every instant of time. At each and every instant of time means from minus infinity to infinity, at each and every instant of time, the amplitude of the output should be finite. When you provide the input signal having the finite amplitude, having the finite amplitude, from minus infinity to infinity. So both input and output should have the finite amplitudes from minus infinity to infinity. And if this is satisfied, the system is known as stable system. So I hope you now understand what do we mean by stable system. Now what is an unstable system? An unstable system is a system in which when you provide the bounded input, the output of the system is unbounded. It is not having the finite amplitude at each and every instant of time from minus infinity to infinity. So this is what we mean by unstable systems. Now let's see a few examples of bounded signals. Bounded signals. The first example is DC value. In case of DC value, you have a finite or constant amplitude maintained from minus infinity to infinity. For example, yt is equal to 6. This means from minus infinity to infinity, amplitude is equal to 6 and it is not equal to infinity. Therefore, it is bounded signal. The next example is sin t. We already know the amplitude of sin t varies from minus 1 to 1. It will not reach to infinity at any instant of time. Therefore, it is also a bounded signal. The next example you can take is cos t. It is also having the amplitude variation between minus 1 to 1. After this, you can have the unit step signal. It is 0 from minus infinity to 0. And then it is 1 from 0 to infinity. So the amplitude is 0 or it is 1. It is not infinity at any instant of time. So these are a few examples of bounded signals. And now we will solve two examples.
to understand how to find out if the given system is stable or unstable. In example number one, y t is equal to t x t and we already know x t is the input of the system and y t is the output of the system and y t which is the output is equal to t times the input. It is equal to t times the input x t and we are required to find out if the system is stable or unstable and to do this we will first provide the bounded signal as the input because according to Bebo criteria we are required to provide the bounded input to the system and if the system produces the output which is also bounded the system is known as stable system. So the first step is to provide the bounded input. I will select ut as my bounded input. So xt is equal to ut. We are providing ut to our system and let's say the output is y dash t and we know the functionality of the system. The system will multiply t to the input. The input is ut so system will multiply t to ut and t ut is the unit ramp signal and if you plot the waveform of unit ramp signal you will find something like this. On increasing the time to infinity the amplitude will also reach to infinity. So here we don't have the finite amplitude of the signal from minus infinity to infinity therefore it is not a bounded signal. So the output is not a bounded signal. The input was bounded but the output is unbounded therefore the system is unstable. This is our answer because input was ut the unit step signal and it is a bounded signal whereas the output is rt the unit ramp signal and it is unbounded signal. So for bounded input the output is unbounded and therefore the system is unstable. Now let's move to our example number two. In the second example yt is equal to xt plus 2. We know xt is the input to our system, yt is the output and the system is having the functionality of adding 2 to the provided input. So yt is equal to input plus 2. Now we are required to check the stability of the system and for this again we will take bounded input. We know DC is bounded signal and let's say XT is equal to 4. So XT is a DC value equal to 4. The system is having the functionality to add 2 to our input. The input is 4 so the output let's say Y dash T is equal to 4 plus 2 it is equal to 6. So we have DC value as the output the input was also DC and we know DC is bounded signal. So the input is bounded and for this bounded input the output is also bounded because it is also DC. So you can see for bounded input we have the bounded output and therefore our system is stable system stable system. So this is how we need to check the stability of the system and now we will move to our homework problem. In this part we only have one homework problem. In this y t is equal to sin t multiplied to x t. This is the problem you need to check the stability of the system and once you have your answer post it in comment section. In the next lecture we will solve few more problems based on stable and unstable systems.